Hey guys, welcome back to Geek Out, and I know I haven't made a video in about two weeks, I think, maybe longer, but I swear I'm actually in the editing process of my stop motion. It's almost done. It's my biggest one so far. Almost, it's over. It's like two and a half minutes long, but uh, I wanted to show you my Gundam collection so far. Uh, don't mind that. Those are boxes for 80 years stuff, but we'll start with... Uh, my Gundam wing that I got, and I have, uh, I think one, two, three, four, five, something like 30 of them. I have like a Zaku, like the camouflage Zaku, Dragon Gundam, battle, custom battle damaged RX. Uh, I got Japanese mobile fighter right there. I got that big guy, I don't know what he is. Uh... I have that Sailor Moon Gundam back there. I forget his name. But, uh, uh, yeah, there's a lot of them in here. And, I, oh, yeah, these guys aren't set up yet. I don't, that's, uh, I don't know. And then there's, like, the backpack for a Japanese mobile fighter. Um, those guys aren't set up because they were from a stop motion I was working on that I deleted because it, it didn't turn out well. And then I have my buildable ones. Like my Strike Rogue, you've seen before. Looks pretty good. He's on his stand that I usually have Sky Grasper on. I have, this is my very first Gundam model kit. and Oh, that's bad. Touching it hurts because I didn't clean off the edges. It's on a pre-built. Uh, I got this with all these, but it's a buildable one. I got a Master Grade Zaku, too. I got a High Grade Z um, Moon Gundam, Unicorn, real grade back there, got an SDRX, and a Japanese mobile fighter right here, and obviously, uh, just add a bit, my PG Unicorn, holy smokes, he's big, he, ha hold on, he has been, uh, panelined, I finished panelining him, uh, but we still need to put the stickers on, so that will be, we'll probably finish that this weekend. Oh, he comes with a stand. And I am going to work on these because I've had them taken down for a little while. But uh, that's kind of all I want to show you. My Gundam collection. Moon Gundam kind of fell over because he doesn't like to stand because I was stupid. And was like, oh, you know, they don't really need thigh swivel. What's the point of it? But no, I've learned that. Every every single one of my Gundam has, uses their thigh swivel. I'm really disappointed that I can't stand now. So, um, yeah, there's that. In total, my guess would be, in total, all these for the price. A few thousand dollars, maybe? Maybe like three thousand, four thousand dollars of Gundam right here, which, oh my god, is big, and then with all my other action figures, including my bigger ones up there, my Warbatron, and then, like, my Marvel Legends and stuff, my guess is I have, it's kind of hard, because Marvel Legends are like 20 bucks each, and I have, like, a lot of them. I've also got some Marvel Select. So my guess, in total for all of my action figures, not my statues, but my action figures, uh, $8,000. Maybe 6000 I don't know. There, there's a lot of uh, action figures. That's including my Mighty Mugs and my Mego figures. But uh, that's all I wanted to show you. Stop motion will most likely be uploaded today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just a little tour. And I'll see you guys later.